To begin, mount your Optex HD enclosure in your rack or cabinet using the four screws provided. If you are retrofitting an Optex Ultra or 1000i enclosure, tag and disconnect all existing fiber optic patch cords and trunk cables. Then, remove the existing Optex standard tray and replace it with the Optex HD retrofit tray. To install an Optex Evolve MTP cassette, adapter plate, or blank plate, slide in the cassette or plate at the front of the enclosure using the receiving guides on the tray. Install cassettes in the bottom row first. Next, remove the cover and route all the required backbone and horizontal cables to the rear of the enclosure. Secure the cables to the first lance point and then the opposite lance point on the rear of the tray. Levitin recommends 36 inch breakouts for all trunk assemblies since 20 inches of breakout is required from the first tie down point on the tray to provide enough slack for the tray to slide forward. We also recommend 14 inches of slack from the last tie down point to the MTP connector for proper bend radius compliance. Test all your movements to ensure you have enough cable slack before completing your installation. The following diagrams show cable routing options and tie-down methods when using Optex Evolve MTP cassettes. This diagram shows trunk cables routing to the right. This shows a similar option with trunk cables routing to the left. When routing cables to adapter plates, feed the cables from the rear to the front. Then make adapter plate connections from the front side of the enclosure. This diagram shows routing to Optex Evolve adapter plates with breakouts. Here we show a similar option using fan out kits. Finally, add labeling to your enclosure. For the Optex 1000i, place the adhesive label strip on the inside of the front and back doors. For the Optex Ultra, use the magnifier label windows to secure the label card on both the front and rear doors. To learn more about the Optex HD enclosure system, visit lebanon.com slash optxhd.